<laughs> this is Corey. This is Nash. And you're watching The Corey Turner Show. Let's talk The Darkest Minds. Let's do it. After a horrible plague swept across the country, killing 98% of America's children, the surviving 2% find themselves as enemies of the state. Now they're taken from their families, placed in internment camps, and guarded at gunpoint. Now why is the government scared of its own kids? Well, because of the plague, the surviving kids have developed an assortment of supernatural powers. I would choose invisibility. Yeah, no, not an option. It's not an option? No. Huh. Living up to the title, the storyline is dark, and although not fast-paced, it delivers strong character development, relationships that are memorable, and overall an enjoyable movie. Amanda Stenberg, who played Rue in The Hunger Games, is our main character, Ruby. Now we follow her journey as she tries to navigate this new world, cope with her new powers, understand her place in society, and fight the constant battle of who to trust which is not easy to figure out for her or for us as the audience. I don't know. I know. Huh? I don't know. I know. You know? Yeah, I know. I don't know. This is a well-rounded cast with Bradley Whitford, uh, Mandy Moore, Harris Dickinson, Patrick Gibson, Wade Wilson, and I especially enjoyed Skylin Brooks as Chubbs. I like Chubbs. Hey, you got on the right to call him Chubbs. The Darkest Minds is not the superhero, superpowers type movie we've become accustomed to lately. Instead, it's a story-driven, character relationship movie that for me delivers. I enjoyed it. I didn't know what to expect. The trailer was intriguing, but didn't give a lot of information. I didn't know the backstory, so I went into it with a clean slate, and I wasn't disappointed. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and share. Let's keep talking about movies.